there is a man in my mirror and he's looking less and less like me. His rate of expansion is actually quite frightening. I'm curious to see what will happen first, whether he'll float away or give up and burst. He's the inflatable man. Think Harry's aunt in Prisoner of Azkaban. Buttons popping off right and left and more than a hint of a nicely formed man breast. It's okay to laugh. He always joins in. He'll plaster a grin over three wobbling chins and you won't see him cry because he's a man and they're tough. Even if the appendage that proves it is hidden by gut. He's the inflatable man, crumpled and crushed by the weight of words that weren't meant to hurt. Like, he's a jolly big fella that gives the best hugs. The nice thing about big guys, there's just more to love. He'll keep you warm in the winter when the sun goes away. And don't all the girls love a dad bod anyway? So he does nothing about it. Gets bigger each day. Hoping and praying it'll all fade away and the excuses he uses are a hundred percent true. Cause it's hard to lose weight when there's so much he can't do. Doesn't know how to cook. Too ashamed to go to the gym. A desk job's a nightmare for trying to stay thin. It hurts when he runs and he smokes too much to swim. So he slowly accepts it's a battle he won't win. Except the days that he listens to the little voice in his head the one that says it's not about weight it's about not being dead it tells him she loves him no matter his size and that his dad only worries because he was the same age when he almost died it reminds him how much he hates the aching the panting the snoring the sweat and how painful it is when the seat next to him on the bus is always the last spare one left but when the voice speaks brings a strength, the strength to push his game to the test, to push past the point where his body and mind scream for rest, especially on the days when just getting out of bed may be the closest he gets to a personal best. We have all faced the agonizing weight of stress, all stared deep in the mirror, hoping it's reflecting back the best version of ourselves, but we cannot pick at the glass to see our inner health. No way to know whether we should be stepping up a mountainside or just tackling the first 12. We have to hope that we can see the cracks and that we can mend ourselves. Not to bend ourselves into the shapes that others desire, but because we should hold a higher opinion of what it is we deserve. Because every step taken, liter of water drunk, hour slept and meal prepped is an attempt to say we are not controlled by the parts of ourselves that we neglect. And that everyone can change the shape the mirror reflects. And also the person you see there is a particular size. But so that when you see them, they are someone you are happy to recognize. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, we'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button, if you could hit the subscribe button, and make sure to ring that bell icon so you don't miss any updates from us in the future. If you want to go that extra mile and support us a little further, we do have a Patreon channel with loads of exclusive goodies, and you can sign up for as little as a dollar a month. We appreciate your help, guys, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.